hire him here. The other day I did a test where I used Sterno in the grill top stove. It didn't turn out so good. I think it took what like it took 23 minutes to get two cups of water to boil using the Sterno. And that I made I made a comment that maybe we could use the cans, refill them with alcohol and see what that does. So then I got a bunch of replies from that. One of them was Jimbo Jitsu. Uh, he said, I'm not sure if you knew it, but sterno cans like that, that are for catering and are designed to hold food at 145 degrees. The health department forbids using them to try to heat with because they're so low temp. Useless catering factoid. And some other stuff. Yeah, I, I knew that in my youth, my ill-spent youth, I was a cook by name and by trade. Did a lot of catering, and yeah, that is pretty much what this is for. You just use the sterno to boil the, the uh, water, not boil the water, but to heat it on the buffet trays and stuff. The problem that comes in is when you look at the sterno stuff, they keep saying that it's good for camping, hunting, hiking, fishing, backpacking, uh, tailgate cookouts so people see the cooking and they call it a cooking fuel problem is it's not really cooking if you see the guy here he's just heating up a can of soup heating up a can of soup now this would get it warm enough for you for anybody nobody wants boiling soup but even though it says cooking fuel Jimbo Jitsu is correct that it's more just for heating but what I want to try here today is I took an empty can, empty sterno can, and I put perlite in it. And I have a partially used can of sterno here. There's alcohol and perlite in that and the sterno in this. I just want to see what kind of flames we get. See if it looks like it might be that the alcohol might get warm enough to do a test. If this would work, the nice thing about that was you could seal it off, you know, put the lid back on, and when you needed it, you just put some alcohol in there and refill it. Now this is a, a used can, but you notice there's a big difference in the flames. This might just do a job on that. A little tall. Boy, this is pitiful, this flame on the sterno. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the flame's going up through. That might just work. Let me put this out. Nice flame. So, if there's an interest in it, I'll do a boil test using this sterno can refilled with perlite and alcohol, denatured alcohol. Boy, that's a much better flame than I thought. So I thank Jimbo Jitsu for that piece of information. As always, I look forward to your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.